Long ago, to end the Indian Wars, the United States made a treaty with Red Cloud and Sitting Bull, the leaders of the Sioux Indian Nations. The paper gave this great Sioux Nation to our grandfathers alone. Our land began in Canada and stretched south into the badlands of what would become the Dakotas. At its heart were the Black Hills, sacred to our tribes. We were promised this land was ours as long as the grass grows and the waters flow. The treaty was signed by President Ulysses S. Grant. Then General Custer announced there was gold in our Black Hills. He led his 7th Cavalry to protect the miners and the white settlers who swarmed in, and the railroad men, the saloon keepers, and the lawyers who followed. They ripped the heart out of our Black Hills. They slaughtered our buffalo and drove our people off the rich prairie into the badlands. It began for us a time of great darkness. All the dreams of our people seemed to die here, at Wounded Knee, where Custer's men shot down 300 Lakota men, women, and children and threw their bodies into a mass grave. This is where I came to find my soul, which I had lost and which had wandered by itself for many years. This land will be yours, the white men said, as long as the grass grows and the waters flow. As long as the grass grows and the waters flow. I am Mary Brave Woman of the Lakota Sioux. This is my story. Compared to many of my people's heroes, Crazy Horse, Red Cloud, it is only a little one, but it is mine. I was born Mary Moore. We were poor, but I didn't know it, because we had love and respect. I loved most my Aunt Elsie Flood, a traditional Lakota medicine woman, a wanderer like I would become. My mother was a nurse at the Indian Hospital in Pierre, a hundred miles from He Dog on the Rosebud Reservation where we lived. Nobody ever talked about my father. While my mother was away, Aunt Elsie was my mother, and Grandfather Full Bull was the father I never knew. Come here, wee chinchilla. I'm gonna braid your hair real pretty. Come here, my little turtle. That flute. It'll make me cry thinking about the old times. I was just a boy when I first heard that song. I was traveling with my father and many others to the ghost dance that wounded me. We saw an Indian scout for Custer's cavalry who were hunting us because the ghost dance was outlawed. Many of us were wearing painted ghost dance shirts. They were supposed to make us bulletproof. We had no guns or weapons. And when they began to shoot, so many shots, it sounded like a great blanket dairy. We were helpless. There was no place to go. The blue coats were throwing hundreds of bodies into a ditch. Like dogs, men, women, and even little children. With my own eyes, I saw a baby girl crying beside her dead mother. Who oh, got so dark? Is that a thing to be telling a little child? Soon she'll be in a mission school, learning the white world's ways. Wounded knee is part of her Lakota soul. It's who she is. If we don't tell her these things, 
How will she remember? Mary's got the strong heart of a turtle. Long after it dies, the turtle's heart keeps beating all by itself, like us, like the Lakota. <laughs> so what will they be when they come back? They won't be Lakota. They sure as hell won't be Washichu. What will they be? I went to that school. What did it do to me that's so bad? To speak as though we had a choice. Akoja, it's a Washichu world now. You gotta learn to live in it. Yupo. You too will go to St. Tristan like your mom. Where's your old uniform? I have it. That old thing. <laughs> I haven't thought about it since I'm going. Oh, well. It's always good to see you, you know. Let the Lord Jesus Christ and his blessed mother Mary save you. Let the Lord Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commends me here. Angel of God, my guardian dear, I commend God's love commends me here. Say it after me, Angel of God, my guardian dear. Angel of God, my guardian dear. To whom God love commends me here. To whom God love commends me here. Ever this day be at my side to light, to guard, to rule, and guide. Amen. That's good. That's nice. You are all our children now. The years passed as they tried to turn us from Lakota to white. They took away our language and our history, and our memories grew dim. They replaced the joy and comfort of our religion with the thunder and agony of theirs. They took away our soul every day and our pictures once a year. I don't have any of the pictures, nor does my sister Barbara. It was lonely after Barbara left. My only fun was sneaking away from field trips or the Saturday matinee. Glad we got out of that. Sister Maggie's gonna kill us. Uh, they'll never miss us. Besides, that fat German Cena Kappa can never catch us. Hi. Pretty cool about the moon thing, huh? Yeah. I guess so. I'm Nadine. What's your name? I'm Mary, she's Charlene. You guys are Indians? Last time we checked. Where are you from? You dog? Cool name. Yeah, I guess so. Where are you from? Scarsdale. Uh, it's just outside New York City. Oh, right. You guys in school? Uh, well, so was I, but I quit. Just pumped so many facts in my head, there wasn't room left to think. Hey, Are you like a tourist or something? Me and my old man, we're just driving until we run out of road, you know? White line fever. Well, I hope you don't run out of road. 
At least until you get there. Wherever that is. Whenever that is. You know what? I want to give you something. Um, I really dug meeting you both, and it's, um, it's like a yell for Indian power. I didn't really read it, but, um, I want you guys to have it. Now you never forget me. It's so long, you dog. Jeez, who was that? I didn't even know there was an Indian newspaper, let alone one called Americans Before Columbus. It was about our life, the rape of our souls, the looting of our lands, the story of my life in Father Hochbauer's school. Or so I saw it. Father Hochbauer is a washi too who knows nothing about Indians and she teach only whites. Mary, are you crazy? I will be. I have to stay here much longer. In my office. And you too. We are here because we were kidnapped. I've tried with you. It just isn't working. I don't know, maybe it's the genes. Anyway, knowing when to cut your losses is one of the advantages of being my age. You will run out of track, you know. At some point, we all do. I had God. You won't have anything or anyone to save you. You're a soul lost to God. You're expelled. Going down those same stairs I had climbed so many years ago, I thought of all the people in the world who didn't know where they were supposed to be, but still kept trying to get there anyway. My heart was pounding. I was going to see the turtle woman, my Aunt Elsie. I was going to be free. But the world I walked into had changed. I had no idea. had no money, so to get back to the tribal headquarters in Pine Ridge, I hitchhiked. That's what everyone did when I left home. We were a tribe, we were a family, and we helped each other. I didn't see what had changed. Hi. I'm looking for my auntie, Elsie Flood. Does anybody know Elsie Flood? She's older, a medicine woman. I was just wondering if anybody's seen her. You got any jobs around here? Right here, where do you live? Around. My mom's on Rosebud. I hate you, Galileo. You belong over there with them people. You ain't getting nothing out of Dickie Wilson over here. Okay. Thanks. See ya. Whoa, look at her. Till next time, all, baby. Got what that means. Hey. How far are you going? As far as you want. Okay. Where are you going? Rosebud. Please? I'm Webster. What's your name, baby? 
name baby baby so what is it mary hey this is the first car i've been in in years at the radio worked my mom had a new house a new man a new life i was scared how different it all was mary hey thanks Webb. Nice house. Yeah, I guess so. See ya. Hi. Mary, this is my husband, Merle. Mom. Mary? She's very pretty. What are you doing home, Mary? I got a letter from the school saying they wouldn't take you back. Hello, Mother. Nice to see you, too. Oh, my girl. Mary, you were so close. How could you allow yourself? It's all over with. I'm going on to new things. Where's Aunt Elsie? I don't know. What are you going to do? Get some work. Where's Barb? This what? You don't have a diploma. And I don't know where your sister is. I can cook, sew, make beds, do laundry, read, write, anything. Read, write, those are skills, not a profession. Honey, there are no jobs here at all. And where are you going to stay? Well, of course you can stay here. Is there that much Indian left in you? Mary, there's no room in Merle's house for somebody permanently on the warpath. It's too nerve-wracking. Emily, we have to go now. You'll be all right here. He's a good man. I gotta go to work. It's going to be all right. Now that's all for now. We'll be back at 5 o'clock with news, weather, and sports. Yippee! Yippee! Believe in the violation of every law in the book. The law of gravity. The style was absurd in the substance. I was here last week. Oh, yeah. Any jobs open up? I had to hire the boss's son. Are you the boss? Yeah. You jump in. You going to Rosebud? Yep. Okay. Hey, thanks, man. What are you doing? <laughs> you gonna have a drink? Huh? You gonna have a beer? Thanks. Come on, come on, have a beer. Come on, drink. Get some closet. Come on. No, I don't want any beer. I don't want any beer. Hey, let go of me! 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 Let go of me!
What happened to you? Are you all right? I'm stir. Me, right now. <laughs> you hear the music? It's in your heart. You, you got no dreams. Damn, you sure are good looking. And you do something to it. And you think to yourself. Why did I do it? You may find that the world may be cruel. So listen to the wisdom of a fool. Webster had a lot of wild friends. There was no work, nothing to do but drink when someone got some money, drive fast when someone got some gas. It was one big loud party. We were young. We thought it would never end. Oh, how I loved them. Why did you do it? You're not like that. Yes, I am. Because I did it. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. There are no jobs, nowhere to go, nothing to do. I'm tired of it. I can't breathe here. Ugh. So I, I, I get madder, and then I get tired. I get madder again. Oh, is that what they taught you? You're no little clit day friends? They're my kind, Mom. They understand me. Too bad.
I just drifted. Faces came and went. I drank every brand of beer, smoked everything I could inhale. Barroom fights, county jails, waking up with strangers. All around me were signs of change. I saw none of them. It had to end somewhere, in a jail cell in Rapid City, South Dakota. We're all sitting here in this white man's cage. And we're going to take control of our own lives. Shut up down there! It's up to the Lakota youth. Under the guidance of our elders, uh, make the changes that's going to release our people from their cages. Hey, what are you doing? I'm just looking, man. Calm down. Who the hell does he think he is? Jesus! Where did you come from? I'm not Jesus. And you're drunk, kid. If you're not my savior, then who the hell are you? Spencer. Like the rifle. It was a good rifle. What you in here for? I believe the charge is sedition. Cause to riot. Who tribe? Apache. You're full of questions, kid. Why is that? Sometimes they put informers in with us, you know that? Name's Mary. Why'd they do that anyway? I'm with the American Indian Movement. AIM. We got some people kind of irritated. Never heard of them. You ought to slow down long enough to read a newspaper, see a TV, Mary. Instead of messing around bars, getting drunk, getting high, getting beat up. Was it Indians? White guys, huh? Who cares? You better care, because they sure as hell don't. Aim, huh? So what's your big, bad, irritating aim gonna do? I said shut up down there! We light the spark. We're gonna take it all back! And then, we're gonna set it free. Hey! I thought I told you to shut up! I wasn't quite done talking. But now I am. That was the first time I'd heard of the American Indian Movement. In a jail cell, looking at a man with eyes not dulled from drink or defeat. Hey, you want to get a beer? Just to get our hearts started, you know? Yeah, I know. There's a, a new wind on its way. And those that don't blow clean, it's going to blow away. Bye, Mary. Doksha. Doksha. I knew then it was time to sober up or die. There was no place else to go but home. It was in a little town just across the Nebraska border, outside an American Legion Hall, that a young Lakota named Raymond Yellow Thunder got his only valentine from two white brothers. These things happened all the time, but this time was different. There was AIM. The tribal elders called out to the young warriors and they came, 
from the damnedest places, the ghettos, the jails, the anti-war protest movements. They were angry, and they were ready to fight back. Hell, South Dakota, it is more dangerous to go fishing without a license than it is to kill an Indian. Because if you go fishing without a license, you will be punished. This has got to stop. We have seen our lives wrecked by poverty, travel mismanagement, now murder. Ray Yellow Thunder's family has asked these young AIM peoples here because we have had enough. Leonard Crow Dog is one of our spiritual leaders. Many generations now. We have suffered. The Washichu we spoke to, but they don't hear. They're deaf. The women, the children, the old ones, they suffer. You from the cities, you are our warriors. Our warriors. We must now walk in the sacred way. We must walk as Lakota people, a leader of the American Indian movement, Russell Means. We will all die if the whites get their way. They will use this sign. They will do anything wrapped in this. Flown upside down, it's their signal for distress. Because each star on this blue field is a state stolen from us. <laughs> AIM is the new warrior society of this century, bound by the sound of the drum. These are the words that have been locked in my heart. Mary, <laughs> how'd you get here? This is my home. My grandfather, Fobul. Oh, oh. My aunt, D.L.C. Flood. I'm Spencer. Like the rifle. <laughs> it was a good rifle. Yes. I'm not afraid to die. When I die, I'm Hell, I knew Ray Yellow Thunder. Nice enough fella. I feel bad about what happened, but feeling bad can't bring him back. And not those aims. That's for certain sure. A bunch of publicity hunting fanatics. It might look like it works for about five minutes. I tried to get you some green frog skin for our share of the Black Hills. Enough for every man jack to get a new car. You haven't got the money. Why? Because of AIM. The old ones. Because the Black Hills are sacred. Get this. Don't dig in Mother Earth's belly. And this commie bunch wants to take us back into the bow and arrow age. We don't need any crook-nosed New York faggot lawyers to tell us what to do. Russell Means comes on this reservation, I will personally cut his braids off. You see him around, so let me know. You join him. I will know. They stopped him and they beat him and they threw him in the trunk of their car to die like a dog. AIM can't intimidate the entire state of South Dakota, Mr. Means. This town looks like a good start to me. What are you hiding? Was he castrated? That's what some people are saying. He was not castrated. And he... Why in God's name can't the family have him to give him a decent burial? 
they come see me, I take care of it. The perpetrators will be prosecuted. That do it. Good hat. You're gonna need it in this heat. <laughs> AIM took the lessons of peace marchers from the streets of the cities to our mountains to get people to stop and pay attention. We thought if they would only listen, they would understand. And if they understood, they would give us justice. The higher we climbed in the thin air, we grew dizzy. It was like dreaming. We could feel the presence of our ancestor warriors on this sacred mountain that was their home. Like they heard our words and came to join us. I hereby reclaim this piece of bad art in the name of the Lakota Nation. This land's rightful people. Oh. 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 We knew there was no magic to restore the mountain. We thought it was just a dramatic gesture that the press would cover and our message would be heard. But the government acted like they thought we could really steal the mountain. They went a little nuts. Hold on. What's your grandmother's name? What? Professor Graham. This is an archaeological site. Could you stand back, please? We don't want to displace the remains. Ask him where his grandmother is buried at. What? We said, where is your grandmother buried at? We got shovels. We want to get at her so we can put her in our museum. Who are you people? What do you want? We're walking scientific specimens. We're quaint tourist attractions. We're living fossils. Or your conscience, if you have one. Come here. Hey! It's simple and easy. You don't dig in our graveyards. We don't dig in yours. Now, put it back the way it was. The young AIM warriors took the heart of the traditional elders. The elders took the hand of AIM and led them back to the old ways, into the spirit world. We were one together, and for many of the city Indians, and for me, it was our first meeting with Father Peyote. my journey to the spirit world. I will see all my old friends again. Carl Ayanchal, good lads. We'll walk with young legs and talk about the mysteries of life. 
like where the sunglasses go when you lose them. We'll have Buffalo Mead, and I'm going to tell them what we have done since they have gone. I'm going to tell them about Abe. Wilson was running again for election as tribal chairman in Pine Ridge. Russell Means decided to run against him. Wilson had government money and jobs to hand out. Russell had aim. already lost it because uh Dickie Wilson is smarter than they are he's got them playing the white man's game politics promises you know it, they got coordinator field director to printing membership cards so what you're just going to give up I'm a fire starter a dream catcher there's nothing here for me anymore It doesn't matter who wins. Because the one who wins already lost it. Just meaner or tougher or luckier than the loser, but they're both the same. No, somebody's got to stay here and finish this. That's my girl. So long, Mary. You're a hell of a woman, I hope you know that. Oh, hi, Barbara. Where's he going? Some road to hell. Big damn fool. Want to come watch the boat? You just gonna moan around here waiting for him to change his mind. <laughs> okay. Oh. 
He's just a guy. It's more than that. Ah, uh, to hell with him. So guess what? What? You are going to be an aunt. An aunt? <laughs> I'm going to have a baby. Wait a minute. It's his? Is that why he's taken off? You're too young for this. I am not too young for this, obviously, because it happened to me. Whose is it? He doesn't want it. It's mine. Ah, oh, that useless bastard. The good looking ones, they're all like that, you know. You don't know, so don't talk about it. Besides, I didn't tell him. About the baby? How come? Because he would have stuck around. I don't get it. He's, he's just not a finisher. Vote for a winner. This list here, all, all these names, they all remember. Come, Evo. Big change in the weather coming, Dickie. Better head for the storm cellar. <laughs> storm cellar. <laughs> oh, Kakusha. How are you sleeping at night? You're in your new life. <laughs> Jimmy Yellowwing. Or Dickie Wilson, Marjorie. Hey, hey, what is this? hey, hey what are you doing? Do not that. No, hey, 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 Somebody stop! You can't do that! Hey, what kind of crap is this? Are you a bed? You're just gonna let them take that? It's not right. You probably told them to. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't know. Nobody's right. Wilson's goons had stolen the election, but it wasn't enough. They began a reign of terror against anyone suspected of opposing Dick Wilson. AIM fought back. White ranchers and vigilantes joined the goons. Old feuds were settled with guns. It was a whirlwind of violence. And finally, it all blew up when Wesley Badheart Bull was stabbed to death by a white rancher in a little bar near Custer, South Dakota. Now listen, my good Indian friends. We want you to know we feel just as badly as you do about what happened to Mr. Goodhart Bull. Badheart Bull! Can't you even get the name right? Okay. Put some Indians on the jury. Let them decide the charges. No, no. Uh, it's going to be manslaughter too, and that's it. Manslaughter? It was first degree murder. They killed my son in front of 16 witnesses. It was murder.
Wesley Bad Heart Bull's mother went to prison for three to five years for riot and arson. The man who killed her son went free. Look at this. ABC is replaying the BIA takeover in Washington, and CBS has got the aim right in custom. Them aren't Indians. We're the Indians. They're a bunch of outsiders. They make me sick. We'd like to get your response to the accusations of fraud, nepotism, bootlegging, and the, um, Please the gentleman behind you. These gentlemen here? These are my goons. Guardians of the Oglala Nation. G-O-O-N. And there's nothing in our laws against nepotism. I take care of my family. What was the other thing? Fraud? I tell you what. I'll take a lie detector test when the AIM guys do. What are your plans if these riots break out here on the reservation? Attorney General Mitchell has already committed more money and 65 new U.S. Marshals to Pine Ridge. And the FBI has given us ammo. <laughs> AIM comes into my town. They're in for a little surprise. It'll be lock and load, brother. Now this is over. I'm going to have me a drink. Washington sent FBI and federal marshals onto the Pine Ridge Reservation, training Dick Wilson's goons to use automatic weapons. It was time to take a stand. The tribal elders called a secret meeting in Calico. In a He's right when he says, this is where AIM must come. This is where our women are raped. Where we have 80% unemployed. Where we have no jobs, no hope. We've got to take a stand. These AIM warriors, they have the right idea. Oh. Are these AIM guys going to be living here when the smoke clears? Hell no. This ain't a perfect world, but one I'm stuck with, with Mr. Dickie Wilson. How long are you going to lick Dick Wilson's boots, take handouts from Washington, and talk like a bunch of old women? <laughs> I ain't the only one who drove through Pine Ridge to come over here. They're waiting for us in Pine Ridge with machine guns, mm -hmm. marshals, goons, and FBI agents. Oh. Oh. Then never mind Pine Ridge. Let's go to Wounded Knee. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go there. Or you guys can just stay here and us women will do it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, hey, what you can see, you love our still. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. We decided to pass Pine Ridge and Wilson's army and go straight to Wounded Knee. There we would make our stand, where 83 years before the cavalry butchered 300 of our people and buried them in an icy common grave. Hold all fire and go. Just stop and engage. Repeat. Rules of engagement are enforced. The boys, we're the cowboys today. Yeah. Yeah. Over there. Yeah. Big ball. What is. Here they come. Go. In position.
What the hell is this? They're going to wounded knee. Here I will stay. The first night at Wounded Knee, I slept in the church. When I woke, it was strange. I was afraid for a second I was back in mission school, but I couldn't figure out what was going on. <laughs> I didn't shoot! It was them! Son of a bitch! Don't just stand there! Shoot at him for God's sake! <laughs> Welcome to the revolution, Father. Hey, right, my relations, please sit down! Please sit down! First thing we have to talk about are the people who live here, whose home we now occupy. We took fire, but we don't want any of them to get hurt. There'll be a full guard for any of you folks that want to leave. Just raise your hands. We could be here longer than a few days. Don't know. Nobody does. So you better leave with the residents to have your baby. The rest of you sisters, too. Oh, hell with that. I only go when all of us go. Men and women. If I have my baby here, then good. I'm here. And that's all there is to that. Yeah, what about us women who are good enough to fight alongside you and cuss them? Yeah. Oh. Used to be you couldn't hardly get a woman to talk. Now you can't get them to shut up. Man. There's no telling how long we're going to be here, so we better check and see what's on hand. I made a list. We got 200 gallons of gas, canned vegetables, meats, sleeping bags. Right. Also got frozen corn dogs. I'll log it all in. We got nine rifles. And most important, I have 116 of my new brothers and sisters. Oh -ho! John Standing was a Vietnam veteran. He'll be in charge of security along with Buddy Lamont. Right here. Right Bob right. Free, where are you? Right here. Bob's our engineer. He's going to keep everything running smoothly. Carter Camp is head of our warrior society. Oh. We're going to need temp housing. We're going to get coal out there. Lila Oshni. We start out on this new road. There's no turning back. We have our ancestors with us. Yeah. We're going to continue to dance with them. Oh. Dreaming them. Oh. 
knowing them, being them. We are becoming what we were. All right, my relations, let's go to work. Dang, the vectors and planes up now. All secure, waiting for further orders. Yeah, I'm in charge here. You can call me Red Arrow. I want you people to drop your weapons and come on out. What Fire. weapons, man? You started firing on us first. Yeah, that is a negative. We are federal marshals, we got FBI. None of our people report firing any ordinance. Well, try to get your people down there under control. We're sending out non-combatants. Do you understand that? Yeah, that is a 10-4. Uh, Roger, we have approximately 30 individuals coming out under white flag. We see no weapons over. Come on. Come on. Over here, man. Yeah. We'll take care of you over here. Over. Come on. No way, man. Right. Oh, this way. We'll take care of you over here. What? Come on, Thank you. No, come on. Come on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right Can I talk to you? Everything is in that one box, and I just put it all in. And... Who are you? The enemy. Who are you? Now, wait, 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 wait. We need to communicate with you. Travesty of justice Guaranteed by the law Backed up by the White House Tell the red man's land to come Well, a hundred years have come to town We began to dig in for a long stay. And the children dead I won't we hoped for help from outside, but instead every day there were more feds around us, and Wilson's goons and white vigilantes came to join them. We organized ourselves the best way we knew how. The women set up the communication center with the radios Red Arrow gave us. Every night a few more Indians and white volunteers slipped in to join us. Some brought food and even rifles. We collected all the weapons and the Vietnam vets became our security. The days added up to weeks and still, nobody knew what might happen. With all the guns, it was no surprise when someone got trigger happy. There was a lot of shooting, but no one was hurt. This time. Estimated number of rounds received 250. Estimated number of rounds returned 250. for tap. 250? Hell, there ain't 250 rounds in our camp. Uh, no injured, no one hurt. No injuries on our side. Other side unable to advise. Indian zero. Fed zero. The noise of the gunfights reached the outside. The media loved our Indian uprising, and Red Arrow had to let them in. They came from all over the world. And our dreams they met a Excuse me, miss. What's the real reason you people are here? You should probably talk to Dennis Banks or Crow Dog. Vita, uh, we, want you, uh, we want to know as you think. See that guy over there? He's a Mohawk from New York City. We have Cheyenne from Montana, Nisqually from Washington State, Ojibwe, Oneida, Paiute from Alaska and Canada all over. The Red Nations, they were like this. Now we're like this. 
We are here. Could you make it more like a punch? Now come get it. One more time. That's great. History of AIM is one of action, not violence. Saw guns when I came in. That's great. Raymond Yellow Thunder. Wesley Badheart Bull. Richard Oakes. Norman Little Brave. Who are these? Ah, oh, man, be a professional. Do your research. These are but the names of the recent dead who have been killed by white weapons, white money, white men. For a time, with the television and newspaper reporters there, we had a ceasefire. And they were telling the world our story. Later that week, Dennis Banks made the nightly news. These are our demands. One, revive the Treaty of 1868. Two, return to traditional government and get rid of Dickie Wilson. Très populaire, Tokyo n'a que encore un appelot. Oh, you can't scout with her shaky hand. Hell, mother, Ziwan, yea, pina. Heta, kaher, yawn yapelo. Honaha, I wit got cocapelo. Oh, you can't scout with her shaky hand. Hell, mother, Ziwan, yea, pina. Heta, kaher, yawn yapelo. Honaha, I wit got cocapelo. We will send a delegate to the United Nation. Deal with Washington as a sovereign people. Oh. Yes. As landlord of this continent. We're going to collect the rent. Oh. Yeah. The feds let doctors through their lines. At Dick Wilson's roadblock, he made his own rules. Who are you boys? Who are you? You first. This is an illegal roadblock. I'm Tribal Chairman Wilson. I do what I think is right for my people. Are you joining the Wounded Knee Traders? Yeah, the, the traders. You think that's funny? Hey! 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 hey, hey. What's wrong with hey, you, huh? Ah. Indian car. Peace, brothers. When the television showed white people being beaten, it woke Washington up. They ordered the television to leave. But they also agreed to send in negotiators from the Justice Department. It was all we had ever asked for.
Let me begin by telling you that you're doing your cause harm here. Some of your members are... We don't have any members. We don't have any members. This isn't a club. We don't have any qualifications. You see, we deal with nations. The Sioux were recognized as a sovereign nation by the Fort Laramie Treaty. The Fort Laramie Treaty was abrogated by Congress in 1871. The hell it was! They just didn't want to negotiate with Indians no more. Mr. White Man, we do not want to fight with you. Only your system and the laws... We're a nation of laws, not men. Do your laws fight your wars? Do they have your children? Are they there when you die? You change your laws at the drop of a hat, especially when an Indian walks in. We're not just any Indian. We're the Oglala Nation. <laughs> Are we at war then? We have the 82nd Airborne coming in. How many divisions does the Oglala Nation have? How long can your women and children go without food? been there almost six weeks and like the Washington lawyers said we were out of food so we had to help ourselves yeah that's okay we'll trade straight up for all can juices only <laughs> <laughs> more jokes drink it down there Larry. <laughs> you son of a gun talking about you guys. Yeah, poking a hornet's nest, huh? Unloading unspecified items by the train. Yeah, Starlighter. Now we uh, shoot up a flare? Come on! Wounded knee, you tell that pilot to shut down and stay right there. If he moves, we will open fire. You got that? We'll shoot his ass. Says they still see the lights there. Hey, who the hell is stepping on me? You get off the air, you go to Channel 3. You turn it. Get ready to take off. Wounded knee, we are going to shoot him down. Does the pilot know that? Come on in over 
Sleep last night? And we got some fire. Bunch of noise. That's what you get when they have endless ammo. They come any closer. What's our final fallback position? This is our final fallback position. What the hell is that? Agent Fred Collins. Lieutenant Colonel Alex Burns, 82nd Airborne. Tell me, Agent, who are those uh, who are those people running that roadblock back there? That's Dickie Wilson, tribal chairman. He's okay. Uh-huh. Agent, can somebody loan me a windbreaker? Hold that, please. What are you doing, sir? Well, you already got enough uniforms around here, I think. Don't you? No, that windbreaker there will be fine. Sir. All right, gentlemen. Let's have a look. You see those binoculars, mister? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are all these clowns anyway? They're locals come to help. They have little firepower. They don't bother us. <laughs> you go through there like Sherman through Georgia. I'm from Atlanta, son. No kidding. From down Nebraska. <laughs> Sir, we could use some airborne G2 on this. Allies in the Army in Germany. And these guys keep getting in our way. These guys? I know you're not talking about my boys. I've seen enough. This is not a military operation. This is a Chinese fire drill, and I'm probably insulting Shanghai firemen at that. If the 80 Let me ask you something certain... here. Just what are those people over at Wounded Knee doing? They are in defiance of a legal order to evacuate the area. Well, have they made any assaults? See, have they taken any prisoners or any hostages? I mean, what in the hell are you scared of here? They got arms, sir. They're talking armed rebellion. They're talking Indian wars. Now, hell, I agree with this bunch up here. We got no control. Now, your people could run them right over. Uh-huh. Good God. Another massacre at Wounded Knee. Well, mister, I think the United States Army has already fought one Indian war, and we got too many good Indian soldiers, and we know how they fight. And if I were you, I'd watch my ass. Good day. That night, as I walked through the knee, I could feel the life inside me stirring, kicking. Me, my baby, all of us had found a place that was truly ours. Then I saw someone I had not seen for a long time, my sister. What's wrong? I killed Aunt Elsie. What? Who did? It's just not here, you know. 
They're throwing everybody in jail. They're beating people up. They're after anybody. It's a war. They beat her to death. <laughs> she was half naked. She had weeds in her hair. FBI and the marshals, it was turning from an embarrassing demonstration into a war they couldn't win. We had held out for 55 days. Washington sent their lawyers back. We want this over too, but not until you stop your blind support of Dick Wilson. But first you must disarm. Hey, honey, one year to week seven of some Yamani, what hits it to home? Can we speak English here, please? He said a long time ago. 83 years ago, the ghost dancers gave up their arms at this very spot, and they were massacred. I can't undo that. I didn't do it. Nixon didn't do it. None of us were there. We can't change that. It happened. Let's move on. We have to start with you laying down your weapons. Hey! Asking didn't get you here. Being right didn't get you here. Our guns got you here. Look at the way you lean back. Your eyes all wide. We finally get your attention and you want us to give it up? Any agreement we might make here while under the threat of violence would be tossed out of court. We're wasting our time negotiating under these circumstances. Do you people understand our position? Clearly. But if you don't start talking to us about BIA-funded goons, and we don't get our treaty rights under discussion, then you sons of bitches might as well kill me, because I have no reason for living. No. Do you understand our position? government would not listen to us. We could surrender, or die, or find our salvation deep inside ourselves. We reached back into our history, to our ancestor warriors for strength. Our medicine man, Leonard Crowdog, called us all together. Back in 1889, 
short boy, came to see my great grandfather. He said, well, Boca, the Paiute holy man, told him about a dream on the day the son died. How it happened went like this. He said that a new world is coming. Look into this darkness. Look here and you'll see a new world coming. And walking in it, we will meet our dead relatives, which the white man killed. Alive again, they will greet us and they will bring back the buffalo. And here is the evil feather. So many men traveled. At night it went, some from far, far away. They wandered for a hundred, hundreds of miles across new railroad tracks, under telegraph lines. And then the holy man said, the first song brings fog and white mist. The second song brings snow and ice cold. But the third brings gentle rain. And finally, the fourth song brings sunshine and warmth. So today, we're going to dance until we draw or until we're done. Leonard and Russell went to Washington to negotiate one last time. At Wounded Knee, the days dragged on and nights were full of rumor and random gunfire. Would you care to have me sing a lullaby to you? Sleep tight, I'm coming to get you. My water broke. Fifteen minutes apart. Isn't that about right? I mean, that's about right. I mean, that's a good sign, right? Oh, this hurts. I didn't think this would hurt so much. Well, what can I do? Let me do something. Here. Would you go boil some water or something? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? It's a good thing for guys to do is boil some water! You think he can do that, Pedro? <laughs> 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 okay. Be sarcastic. Yeah. I'm going to be right outside just in case you need me. <laughs> yeah, this is Red Arrow. Have you taken casualties? We see a crowd outside the trailer. <laughs>
Baby update. You are an uncle. Wounded knees, first baby. Or stay! Dang! Hold the little warrior. Mary? Uh. Oh, Mary. days they prayed for me and my baby they gave me a new name Mary brave woman it was then that I found my voice I was a Lakota woman I was happy I was free Bodyguard Leonard? Lawyer. You look good as a chauffeur. Thanks. He's not an Indian. Right. You and me are Indians. Right. And you're not going back in the wounded knee. Wrong. You don't think I'll shoot? You don't think I'll shoot? keep talking, but TV's too busy with Watergate. Look at this kid. Let me see this little guy. Well, has anybody given you your Lakota name? No, Leonard. Why don't you do it now? Okay, I will. Hey, how you doing? 
One way is leaving. Tells me that he wasn't ready for the power of the spirits. Wow, look at that sunset. Yeah, that's a 10-4. I'm off the air, Red Arrow. Over and out. I just got word from Buddy's family. They're pretty broke up. They ask if you'd bring him out. They need you, Mary, to bring Buddy out with some honor. I'm not leaving Wounded Knee. Yes, you are. You are all the family he has here. He gave his life. You can give this. It's all gonna be over soon anyway. Pretty soon, you're gonna get all of us. Will you do it? For his relations. The feds agree to let you pass. No arrest. You already knew that I'd do it? I did. Thank you for bringing my son. We all loved him. He brought us honor. grown into a man, step man. Doksha. I hope. I will see you again, Mary. Can you identify him? Buddy? All right, guys, let's check him out. Where are they taking him? This is evidence in a coroner's inquest involving charges of murder. Murder? Lady, they just want to determine the cause of death, don't worry about it. The cause of death is you bastards killed him! Who is that? That's Mary Moore. You're under arrest. You can't arrest me? We had a deal! Yeah? Well, you're under arrest. Someone get the kid. Let's go. No, don't touch my baby! Don't, don't make it easy on yourself. Go on, baby. Hold it now. <laughs> you can sulk and non cooperate. There's no skin off my ass. Or you could help. Give us names. Tell us what their plans were. What you saw. Who they were going to assassinate. Places they were going to bomb. baby and you go free all I did was I had a baby you're not keeping your baby you're not seeing your baby in federal prison you don't have babies in prisons you're not stupid are you I had a baby does that violate some kind of law I got all the time in the world I got kids of my own. 
I can be a nice guy, or I can be one mean son of a bitch. It's all up to you. <laughs> this is not funny, little girl. Do you think this is some kind of a joke? You want names? I'll give you names. Raymond Yellow Thunder. Wesley Bad Heart Bull. Buddy Lamont. Elsie Flood. Do you know what I'm talking about? The joke is you have no clue who we are. That night, over the gunfire, I could hear my dear ones, and I thought I could even hear them singing. I didn't know if they were dying, but it was all right. Their fate was mine. In the morning, I would know. Why don't you just kill us, make our bodies be guilty? Why don't they just do that? I don't know, Doc. Maybe because they didn't think of it. Hey, brothers, what's your Hold it, man. You're the best folks Try to get a picture here, please. Raven fire. Raven fire. You're right. One at a time. Raven fire. 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 Raven Chief. What are you doing? They said if we would leave Wounded Knee, they would restore our traditional tribal government, investigate corruption in tribal headquarters, and talk out our problems in peace. After 73 days, the siege at Wounded Knee was over. Once we put down our guns and the television and the newspaper reporters went home, the arrests began. They could say anything they wanted. Whatever we said was gone on a cold pine ridge wind. Here, where I found my life, my center, my people, where I found my firstborn, nearly everything is gone now. The government tried to extinguish all signs that Indians once made their stand here. It will do them no good, because the world saw, the world heard. Even though in time Anime Aquash and Pedro Bizanet were murdered by goons, even though once again the government lied and betrayed us, even though some of our leaders are still in jail, in the end it will do them no good at all to try to hide it, because it happened. Today is still not ours, but tomorrow might be. 
because of that long moment those short years ago at Wounded Knee, where we reached out and touched our history. I was there. I saw it. It happened to me. So that our people may live. So that our people may live.
quite a film. And we're here with the man who selected it to be part of our look at Native American images and films, Hene Gigama, professor, author, playwright, and a terrific co-host, I must say. Now, this movie uh, was based on a book, correct? The Dakota Woman, the same name, yeah. that was written by, by a, 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 a very wonderful man, a writer named Richard Erdos, and, and co-authored with, with uh, Mary Cordog, who was the Lakota Woman. So, so, so many uh, uh, Native Americans are in the movie. Why wasn't a Native American the screenwriter on it? That was something that I brought up with the Turner people at the time. You know, wh Why can't we get an Indian writer to come in and either co-write these things with the non-Indian writers? The, you know, the, the Writers Guild, the, the, you know, you know how, how it works in Hollywood. There's a list of writers. Right. And if you're not on that list of writers, then you just simply don't get considered. It doesn't matter ethnicity. None of that, that um, applies. And there were no Indians on that list. So it was it was very difficult to, to, to get that. But, but the, the Bill Kirby, the person who wrote the, the, the teleplay for this, uh, did a, he did a good job. But one of the things that, that I think is a, a flaw in the film uh, is that the liberal... The liberal the tendency to to really really show the poignancy of the the Indian struggle, that to, to imagize it and put it into Indian images, I think it is a little bit of a detriment to to the to the overall veracity of the movie. The the scene where the little boy is riding around on the the motorbike and he has a, the toy tomahawk and he rides up and clangs the 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 side of the of the army tank is I, I don't think that that happened at Wounded Knee, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it it's a good good feel good you know look, look at that look at that that little Indian warrior, you know, counting coup right. on the tank. That's, that's, I don't think that that's, that's a, a, a realistic reflection of, of Indian worldview, Indian sentiment. So, so I think that, that things like that kind of detract from the overall veracity of it. But, but other than that, I think it, the, the story is true and was very well uh, executed. And Mr. Pearson was, I think, wise enough to let the Indians do their mm -hmm. do the roles the way that they they portrayed them and so you get something quite close to the way that the Indians acted in the, in the the real siege the real real wounded knee uh -huh.